Greetings everyone, it's Rigio Agatiz is here, oh my god my chin just hit the mic. Greetings, it's Rigio Agatides here, and today we're finally going to play some Master Doom. It is a new journey for me, so what's a better way to start a new journey than a new deck? So today we will be pulling some packs and then getting onto the ranked dooms where I am currently sitting in Copper, I think, or Rookie. And we will be climbing hopefully at least to gold within a reasonable amount of time. Shouldn't be hard. Uh, I know it is very surprising to see someone play Asarctix because they are not known for being a good deck. Uh, I do have to say... They have really good designs. Just look at the card arts. Look at the... For all of those people who like LGB designs out there, I don't understand how they will not like this deck. It may be just a little bit lower. Yeah, I basically just chose the deck for the art. As simple as that. And... Okay, I'm missing the stuff in the extra deck. As you can see... Currently, I don't have that many cards in the deck. It is a problem. But I do have 9,600 gems, so hopefully that will get me enough cards for today. After all, if it's in copper, or bronze, or rookie, or whatever it's called, it shouldn't be too hard to get out, right? Okay, so the real grind starts here. 9,000 gems, how many cards can we get? Okay, that's one you are in the right spot. Let's see if the card is what we need. No, it is not. You are back. Right spot once again. Just don't expect anything. Indeed, the second Meteon is Drytron. You may be a really broken ritual spell. But no, I don't need you. Not yet. And it's the third Meteonist Drytron. I have a feeling we're going to get a lot of that today. You don't care about the left. What is it? Is it Drytron again? That's the third departure. And yes, Septentry on a card that we will need three of. Actually, maybe two, but... It... One thing I really like about Master Duo is that when you're pulling these packs, it actually feels like pulling genuine packs. Most of the time you get the same stuff, and then you get stacks of copies of the same common cards, and then you don't get what you need. And then you just go home and cry. It says the same thing. When you are on the right, that's a good spot. What is it? <laughs> the fourth Meteonus Drytron. Okay, we're going to get a lot of it today. One you out. Or two. Please don't be on the wrong spot. It's not. Golden Bamboo Sword, one of my favorite cards of all times. Its effect is really simple, you just draw two cards, but you have to control a ba Bamboo Sword. Which is slightly more complicated, but with Isolde as a monster, it is really easy. And you draw an absurd amount of cards. Another Septentrion, that is absolutely excellent. We have the two that we need in the bare minimum already. Actually, how many cards do we have? I think we have all that we need, right? Wow, we actually almost do. I guess we can... wait. These stuff. Where did I get them? Oh no, they are all in the master pack. Oh no. That is not good. It's 
So here is a brief introduction to Asarctix as a deck. They are a series of beast and beast warrior monsters that aim to summon their pseudo-synchro monsters from the extra deck. These monsters are not summoned in as a normal synchro summon. They have to be summoned by sending a tuner monster and a non-tuner monster with a difference equal to the level of the synchro monster itself. For example, this Polari is level 1, so you have to send a tuner and a non-tuner monster whose difference in level is exactly 1. And for the big ones, it's even harder because you need to use a non-tuner synchro monster instead. The monsters in the main deck try to aid this by being very high-leveled tuners. They're level 8, and they can special some themselves by tributing another level 7 or higher monster from the hand. The other part, the non-tuner monsters, are level 7. So by using a level 7 and a level 8, you can go into a Polari. And then using an 8 and a Polari again, you can go back into a larger Synchro Monster. The main gimmick of this deck is that all of these main deck monsters can be summoned during your opponent's turn as well from the hand as a quick effect. And with their on summon effects, they all interact with the opponent. Megapola pops a spell trap, Megatanus acts like a Book of Moon, and Megabidus acts like a DD Crow. The rest of the deck are either just ways to get into the monsters, the Radiation which is a very broken spell, but you have to hard draw it, and every time you special summon an Arsarctic from your hand or the extra deck you get to draw a card for up to 7 times. It's not once per turn, so you can actually draw all 7 cards in the same turn. Vishuda and the Barastos are just options, as well as Alpha the Master of Beasts, are just options as level 7 or higher monsters that can be tributed from the hand, while removing some of your opponent's cards. The opponent has 5 cards in the extra deck, so it's probably the most boring bronze 5 jewels that we can get. Yep, it's the starter deck. And that's the first do down. This is one of the advantages of playing as Arctic. A lot of decks in the in Master Duel right now they lose on the die roll. So for example, if you're playing Runix, if you're going second, you're pretty much hopeless. But with as Arctic, you can go oh wait, this is not a great hand. Whoops. In theory, with as Arctic, you can go both second and first but you do need your hand to cooperate. Or that this happens. The thing is, because of the way delays work, a lot of people just think that you have maxi when you actually don't. No idea what that is, whatever it may be. That's your normal summon. Once per turn, you can. I've never seen this card before. This card, one card, target one dragon type. Okay, sure. Okay, that will be the end of your turn, right? I d Hopefully, you don't go. Ooh, what is this? Triple burst. It would be safer if we just summon Nib. Boom. That is it. Go on, try. And he concedes. Just to make sure we can do it in the battle phase before he declares an attack. He has 3000 defense. Oh shit. <laughs> 